Windows 10s latest beta hints at all new features planned for your computer in 2018. Microsoft has unveiled the latest beta for its forthcoming Windows 10 update, codenamed Redstone 5, which is scheduled to launch later in the autumn. The beta hints at some of the features Windows 10 users can expect to hit their PCs in the coming months. Microsoft has pushed out the latest beta for its forthcoming Windows 10, which hints at some of the new features penciled in for launch later this year. Codenamed Redstone 5, the blockbuster new update will follow the Spring Creators update, which is scheduled to launch in a few weeks, sometime in the autumn. The biggest change in Windows 10 Preview Build 17643 is the inclusion of tabs in almost every app. Like tabs in a web browser, the new feature branded as sets in the operating system allows users to open multiple documents or panels within a single window. In the latest beta, users can open tabs side by side in a range of Microsoft's own apps, including Mail, Calendar, OneNote, MSN News, Windows, and Edge. Apple's Mac OS introduced a similar feature in 10.12 Sierra, which launched back in September 2016. Where the Windows 10 solution differs is allowing users to incorporate other applications into the tabbed interface of a single app. For example, with Sets, a person working on a Word document can open new Sets tab and bring in information from other sources, like OneNote, apps, or third-party websites. Head of the Windows Insider, Dona Sarkar said, whether updating your Excel budget each month with stock prices and credit card expenses, incorporating data from multiple reports and websites into a PowerPoint, or managing citations for your book report in Word, sets with Office 365 helps you get more done, faster. Windows 10s default web browser, Microsoft Edge, boasts better support for sets, too. If you've opened a Microsoft Edge window within Sets, you can now drag that tab around within the set, as well as drop it in another Sets window, explains Sarker. Dragging between a Sets window and a standalone Microsoft Edge window does not yet work. The update also brings a nifty new feature for those running Windows 10 devices with a SIM card. Microsoft has updated data usage settings to let users know exactly how much data they're using while roaming. Roaming usage info will appear as soon as Windows 10 users start using roaming data. The ability to enable or disable roaming altogether is found under cellular settings. This feature promises to be a crucial addition given the sheer number of convertible machines and always connected notebooks coming to the market. It's still early days for Windows 10 Redstone 5, and as a result, there's a long list of known issues with this beta build. For example, on resuming from sleep, the desktop may be momentarily visible before the lock screen displays as expected and users should be forewarned that closing one tab may sometimes minimize the entire set. However, whether you decide to install this new beta build or wait for the final consumer version of the operating system to launch later this year there are some interesting new features headed for Windows 10.